you are already UI ARD certified. However, you are still missing something. Would you like to amplify your presence? Would you like to showcase your certificate to the recruiters? Then this video is going to really help you. I am going to show you step by step method. How do you enable UiPath Spotlight directory? So why delay? Let's get started. The very first thing, let me show you what is UiPath Spotlight directory. For this, you need to visit to credential directory.uipath.com. I'm going to pass all of these links in the video description. So let me visit this specific site. Once you are on the site, you can see this is the UiPath Spotlight directory. Now the next question that comes to our mind, what is the benefit of this? You can see in the Spotlight directory, you can see my profile. If you click on this profile, the recruiters can see exactly when have you acquired your certificate, what are the different other recognitions that you have received from UiPath right so here it also allows the recruiters to get into your linkedin profile or the twitter profile whatever you have given the details they'll be able to easily see your credentials and understand about your profile in a quick manner you can see my linkedin profile has opened also you can see my twitter profile has opened as the question prevails why you should opt in so let me read this for you uipath spotlight directory provides a searchable hub of individuals with UiPath credentials and experience that makes it easy for hiring managers and recruiters to browse and find qualified candidates. Also, it is a great place to find individual network and connect with. You can see on the UiPath Spotlight directory, when I'm searching my name, I'm able to see my profile and anybody can get in and see the details about me in this profile. Let's learn how to set up UiPath Spotlight directory. Now the very first step, go to your email and you need to search for credential at the rate uipath.com. So let me copy this. I'm going to pass all of this information in the description, not to worry. So search for it. Now here, one of your email will be related to your UiPath certification. For example, this one is mine. Now when I open this, you can see Rakesh Behra check out new credentials as a UiPath certified professional. Look for this email. This is the very first step. And in this email for your UiID credential, claim my credential. There is a button here called claim my credential. All you need to do, click on this link or else there is a direct hyperlink given here. You can click on that. So I'm going to click on this button. This will take and show you your certificate page. Now on this, on the right hand side, you have a sign in button. Click on the sign in button. You may directly get logged in like, like what happened to me. Otherwise, if it is asking for a password or you do not remember your password, all the options would be there in that page. So you can reset your password in case you do not remember. So once you sign in to credentials.uipath.com, this is the next step you have to do. What is the next step? You have to click on any of these logos. So here you will have your certificate. So click on that certificate logo. So the second step here is click on the logo. Okay. Click on your certificate logo. Click on your certificate logo. This is your second step. So once I click on the certificate logo, see this is what you would find. You can see directory. This user belongs to the UiPath Spotlight directory. In case you are not part of that, it will say you are not part of the Spotlight directory. Now here what you do, there is an option called edit my profile. Very important. The third step is to click on edit, edit profile. This is your third step. So click on edit my profile. Now once you click on edit my profile, you will launch into Accredible, v2.accounts.accredible.com login. So this is the page that everybody should be able to get in. Now this page, let me copy paste the hyperlink. Now this page will ask you to provide your email address and password. In my case, even I forgot the password, what I had set. Now in case you do not remember your password, simply click on forget password and enter your email address using which you have given your exam right you have to provide that email address and click on request link 
this is the email that you would receive to your registered email address and here is the option for me to reset my password so simply reset your password in case you don't remember so i'll go back to sign in page and let me enter my email address and enter your password and then simply sign into this page once you sign in this is the page that you would see now in this one there is something called directory profiles you have to click on it what is the next step once you sign in next step is to click on directory profile okay so click on directory profiles and here you have the option visibility now all you have to do on this page click on edit click on edit button and here if it is hidden simply click on visible and then hit on save visibility okay so all you have to do next step is enable visible and then save changes okay so once you save this visibility what would happen automatically the moment you search your name in the directory for example for me if i'm typing here rakesh you can see my name has appeared my details has appeared so these are the basic steps guys you have to follow to enable and beside that you can also set up your profile let's say you would like to give your personal information to the recruiters you know all of these options you can browse through and enter your required details that you need to showcase to the recruiter so thank you guys for watching you completely learned how do you set up your uipath spotlight directory now i'm going to pass the steps in the description of the video in case you would like to utilize any of these links you can very well try them thank you guys for watching let's meet once again in our next content